Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Linux gatekeeper, Gardner. So today I wanted to talk about the Steam Deck. Uh, right now I'm playing LEGO Star Wars because it's freaking great on here. Uh, I actually really, really enjoy uh, LEGO Star Wars. If you haven't tried it, uh, check out the uh, ProtonDB article because Valve says that it's not compatible, but it definitely works. I don't think multiplayer works, but I haven't tried it because I'm not a multiplayer gamer. I am a single player gamer. This game is great. There we go. Now you can see Lego Star Wars real time looking great. Uh, I love how this plays. Uh, Steam Deck is awesome, but um, we're not talking about Lego Star Wars today. Uh, as the title of the video might have clued you in, we're actually going to be talking about 3D prints for the Steam Deck. Now, I don't have a lot of 3D prints, but I do have a few and uh, what I have I like. And this video is as much about highlighting some of the cool community made uh, 3D prints um, as it is about encouraging more people to make more variety of prints because uh, right now it's a lot of stands. <laughs> but before we head into the actual meat and potatoes of this video, I want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Micro Center. Micro Center is one of the largest consumer electronics retailers in the US. It's basically tech heaven. Micro Center has over 30,000 products in stock and there's something for everyone. Students, IT managers, and gamers alike trust Micro Center for their computer and electronics needs. Micro Center has some of the lowest prices, whether you're shopping online or in store. That means that if you're not shopping at a Micro Center, you're missing out on saving money. And new deals and coupons are constantly being rolled out. And if you haven't been to a Micro Center before, you can check out their website or visit a retail location and learn why Micro Center has the best selection, service, and sales expertise. Micro Center is now offering a free 128 gigabyte USB flash drive and 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Use my link in the description to learn more. Offer valid for new customers only, no purchase necessary, limited time offer, valid in-store only, limit one coupon per customer. And thank you to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. All right, so first things first, I've been printing basically nonstop for three weeks. Uh, and I've had a lot of failed attempts at prints, um, which is unfortunate because 3D printing uh, is not usually this unreliable. Um, so the very first thing that I tried printing was this. This is a the Steam Deck dock slash display stand. Now, there's a couple really neat features of this. Uh, the first thing is that this area here is actually hollow. So you can take, uh, this isn't a great example, but you can take something like uh, a USB hub, stick the uh, USB cable through the hole, and then, you know, if you had a shorter one, you could actually fit it in there. Didn't realize this didn't fit until I actually got this thing printed. Um, but I do have a shorter one. It's out in the other room and uh, it fits in there pretty nicely. You could glue it in there and hold it in place, and then you have a dock. Um, there's also a little bit of a cavity down here where you could route cables and do other things. Uh, I actually really like this. Now, my printer is, if you can't tell, my printer isn't, it doesn't have a large enough base to actually print the whole thing here. So I had to glue, I had to print the two sides here separately and then glue this together. Uh, it's not the most stable connection, but it works and it really nicely fits the Steam Deck. Uh, it, it, it just kind of slides, slots into place. It feels really like a solid connection between this and the Steam Deck. I like this a lot, though I did print with supports and it tried printing support material in here for the, uh, the sharp overhangs for the Steam Deck logo. As you can tell, it doesn't look great. Um, I would prefer it without the Steam Deck logo here. It doesn't even, it, it even has like the Steam Deck with the logo in here. I would prefer it if it just was pretty, like just flat. And the creator of this dock actually does recommend the, an Anchor 7-in-1 hub. Uh, it allows you to actually put the hub back here and have it be like a full docking mechanism. And you can actually download all the files that you need to print this from uh, Thingiverse. It's licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share-Alike License. Uh, and I think it's pretty nice. I really like having this on my desk out here so I can sit my Steam Deck down, dock it to my monitor, and play with uh, a, a wireless controller uh, and not have to worry about heat not 
flowing properly through the device. I just find that I want to have heat rising naturally as well as being blown out. So I'd, I'm nervous about laying my Steam Deck flat on the table and running it. And that's where this comes in handy, honestly. But I have printed other stands because uh, while this is a great dock uh, for my desk out here in the other room, I want something where I can set my deck down on my coffee table and I don't want it to take up too much space when it's uh, on the coffee table. So I printed this. This is available for print on uh, Thingiverse. It's under a Creative Commons Attributions license and it's made by Danak on uh, Thingiverse. So you can go ahead and download this. This is a very simple print. It, it didn't even need support structure and the Steam Deck sits very nicely, very securely in this dock, in this little stand here. It does slightly obscure one of the uh, intake ports on the back, as you can see there, but uh, it's not that bad, honestly. Uh, and it sits well when not in use on my coffee table right here using this print. Next up, I printed this stand. Now, I wanted to print this one because uh, it had registration marks that would easily uh, lock into the screw holes on the back of the Steam Deck. Um, but I ran into a few issues. Uh, I tried printing this three or four times, and every time uh, it failed to print. I tried it at slower speeds, I tried it at faster speeds, and they all failed. Now, I can no longer find this printable uh, version on Thingiverse. I'm pretty sure I downloaded it from Thingiverse, and I don't see it on printables.com either. And there might be a reason for that, because every time I tried printing this, it failed. Uh, it failed catastrophically. Uh, you can't see it in the A-roll, but in the B-roll, you'll be able to see there's a little uh, lip here, and it offset. Like, the whole print offset by about, uh, I would say, half an inch. Um, and it just... Uh, it did not work. And I, like I said, there are little registration marks that fit in the back. And when you put the Steam Deck on, it wants to naturally slide into place. But my, my 3D printer's resolution isn't that great. And uh, they just kind of look like errors uh, in the print, honestly. Um, I, need a, I need a new printer. I actually have a pretty old 3D printer. It's the, uh, the Monoprice version, like the white label of the Prusa i3. And uh, not gonna lie, it's not the best 3D printer, but it gets the job done um, rather slowly. But I printed this, like I said, because it has the holes here. It has the registration marks and it has holes here to allow airflow through so it doesn't block the airflow. Uh, but again, I can't seem to find that uh, print anymore. I downloaded that about two weeks ago. And it's no, no longer online. So I don't know who made that and I can't link to it. If I do find the link, I will share it below. Okay, so next up we have uh, version 2.0 of the Steam Deck USB-C charger cradle. Now, this, when I saw this, I was like, this is the kind of thing that I want to see more of for the Steam Deck. Things that make it easy for you to keep your Steam Deck and their accessories organized. When I tried printing this, it failed pretty spectacularly the first time. It again did this weird offset thing. I've never seen my printer do this weird offset, like the base of this is not supposed to be sticking off the edge. Um, it's supposed to be flush with it. Uh, and it printed support structure, even though I told it not to. That's a problem with my slicer. But then I went and did version two. And this came out much better. Uh, I slowed the print down quite a bit to get this to print properly. And uh, man, it's, it's nice. Now, the way this is supposed to work is pretty straightforward. Now, you're supposed to take your Steam Deck uh, charger, stick it in here, wrap the cable around these uh, these uh, towers, I don't know what you would call them, spikes, and then you would take that and you would stick it inside the cavity on your carrying case. However, for the life of me, I could not figure out how to wrap the cable around here without putting what I felt was too much tension on uh, the strain relief on the thing. And funny enough, the day that this finished printing, I went on Reddit and found that uh, the guy who made this had actually made version 3.0. And that's what I have right here. Now, there's no more of the, the, the three segmented towers in there. And it comes with a, uh, a, a cover that you can slide on. 
Now, it doesn't stay on unless you actually have the cable in there to provide some tension on the back of this. But I feel like this is a much better design. Also, this version, the, the version 2.0 that I printed, comes with these little slots that are meant to fit uh, micro SD cards. And uh, this one comes with it too. And this is a much better uh, thing because you can actually reach in and grab the cards and pull them out. Whereas I put a card in this one and I needed to use needle nose pliers to be able to get it out because my fingers are just too big. So this is a much better version. And uh, you slide this on and then you pop this in the back of your, the Steam Deck carrying case cavity. And it works great. Um, except for one issue, and that's this thing just does not want to stay on a lot of the time. And it's because there just isn't a lot of space for the cable. So this is the official charger. And what you do is you pop it in here. You pop it right in and, and it sticks out on both the top and the bottom a little bit. And then you uh, wrap the cable and I'll probably cut to B-roll on this. Uh, but you wrap the cable here and you got to kind of finagle it to have it stay in. Um, and then once you're done wrapping, you can put the cover on, but you kind of quickly run out of space in here for the cable. And the problem is the cable kind of remembers that it's been contorted. So, you know, it doesn't like to go straight again after you've kind of pushed it in here. Yeah. It likes to pop out that the top does. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, that's kind of the idea. <laughs> and then you stick this in the back of the pack. Now, the biggest issue that I have is that I've had the uh, charger uh, cradle in here and you can see here on the back of the strap, there's a faint outline of where the charger actually protrudes out the back of the cradle. I don't know if that's dust collecting on this or what it is, but uh, it doesn't look great and it kind of makes it sit a little off kilter. Uh, if you have the actual uh, 512 gigabyte version, it comes with a little satchel that you can stick your uh, charger in and it should fit back here. But again, I've had issues with actually getting the whole cable and the charger into the satchel to then put in the back of the carrying case. So I don't know, your mileage may vary on that. Now, that's all the prints that I have successfully com completed. Uh, there have been multiple other prints um, including this one, my printer just fails when printing this. I've tried printing it multiple times. It just doesn't like it. I, I would love to see uh, more of this type of thing. I really love uh, printing. It's like 3D printing is, is like a huge uh, passion of mine that I kind of forgot about for a couple of years when I was like living in like uh, apartments and stuff and I didn't have like a space where I could put it where I wouldn't hear the frickin' motors going all day. Uh, but yeah, I'm really glad to have my 3D printer set up again. And uh, I would love to actually see more prints, stuff like the, the Deck Bro here, um, that are made for the Steam Deck to do really cool things, like, for example, mounting a, a two and a half inch drive on the back of your Steam Deck, that's awesome. And I not so secretly hope that this video is popular enough that it inspires talented makers to design 3D print accessories for the Steam Deck. Because if I'm being honest, this thing is amazing and it can only become cooler with 3D printed accessories hanging off the back of it. Am I right or am I right? Come on. So yeah, I would love to see some really novel and interesting ways of tackling new challenges, new accessories, new 3D prints for this. Uh, and I would love to know what you think. Do you, do you like this kind of video? Do you want me to talk about more 3D prints? Let me know down below because I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, this, it, like I said, this is a passion of mine. I really love doing this kind of stuff. And uh, very excited about the, the idea of doing more 3D prints and having more 3D prints available for the Steam Deck. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you 
enjoy these videos. If you like what I'm doing here, you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the show out. You can also hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the cool things that we're doing here on the channel. I want to give a special shout out to the Linux Warriors over on Patreon and my YouTube members, without whom I would not be able to do this. So thanks guys, it really means the world to me. But like I said, that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next one.